He's bringing them with him. Please explain 1 Thessalonians 4.16, the dead shall rise first when the Lord returns. Well, yeah, but we kind of need to read the whole passage to get the context. But we do not want you to be uninformed, brothers, about those who are asleep. That just means death. That you may not grieve as others do who have no hope. For since we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so, through Jesus, God will bring with him, bringing with him, those who have fallen asleep. So let's stop there. First off, there's no such thing as soul sleep, and this very verse confirms it. Yes, it calls them asleep, but he's referring to death because in verse 14 it says, he will bring with him those who have fallen asleep. How is he going to bring them with him if they're already down here? No, they're up there with him. He's coming down. He's bringing them with him. Now what's going to happen? Verse 15, for this we declare to you by the by a word from the Lord, that we who are alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, that's all of us who are, who are alive when it happens, will not precede those who have fallen asleep. That means we will not go up before he comes down. The, when the resurrection of the righteous will happen before the rapture, period. This is clear as day. There, we cannot go up until they come down, which makes it kind of clear that the rapture is at the same time as Jesus' return. But let's keep going. Verse 16, For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a cry of command, with the voice of an archangel, and with the sound of the trumpet of God. And the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive who are left will be caught up. And that's where we get the word rapture from, the word caught up in this very passage. Together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, so we will always be with the Lord. Therefore, encourage one another with these words. We will always be with him once we're with him and he's on his way down. He's talking about the return of the Lord. This is why I firmly believe in a rapture that is synonymous with the second coming. When, where, however that looks at the end, it's not two separate events because we cannot precede those who have died. 